One place you definitely want to take your time and make sure you get it right is down at the boat ramp because if you rush, you're probably going to forget some things. Welcome back crew to this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Now, unfortunately for this crew, the worst part about forgetting that the motor's running is they've not even really noticed that it is running. But we're all human, we all make mistakes, we all forget things, like that time you forgot where the reef was. One way to find a good reef, look at that, I didn't do it. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen a lot of good prop manglings in my day from people hitting reefs, but this is probably one of the worst ones I've ever Rats, seen. Cowlings. Now, as I've mentioned, we are all human. We all make mistakes out there on the water and in life in general. So one way to try and fix that when we're out on the water is not let a human drive. Go ahead and let one of your pets get behind the helm and let's see if they can help eliminate some of those mistakes that humans make. But I'll tell you one thing you don't want to let happen is you don't want to let any of those animals out there on the water go ahead and get a hold of your motor. That's a whole lot different than getting a hold of the helm. Now, why do you think the motor was so loud right there? It doesn't look like they're in too shallow a water or anything crazy like that, but it definitely sounded like there was no prop grip for some reason. Now, on the other hand, there are times when you will get a little too shallow out there on the water and you don't want the prop to grip then. Another one of those places where you're not really going to want that prop to grip too much too fast is going to be around the old boat dock because if you got a heavy throttle hand, things can get out of control pretty quickly down there. Again, always take your time around the boat ramp, make sure you got it right the first time, and try and avoid hitting the dock like we just saw. And speaking of things you probably shouldn't do, I probably wouldn't do this either. This is over Atlantis in Nassau in the Bahamas, but I just have to guess. This water is coming straight out of the water this boat is in, and if you know well enough, you know, this is their super yacht harbor and marina. Kind of stagnant water right there, probably not the water I would want pouring over my head. And speaking of things you probably don't want to do, well that's going to be when you're out there in the water, it's getting yourself stuck in a spot that you can't get out of. Every time you're out there on your boat and you're heading into a position of some kind, always look for your out, make sure you got a way you can get yourself into a safe spot. Now, sometimes we're talking about getting caught in tight spaces like we see here. Other times we might be talking about height restrictions. Always remember how tall your vessel is and how much height you need to clear. This one's a wild one. Watch the power tower in the back as it actually winds up coming completely down as well because this boater just didn't happen to pay close enough attention to how low the electrical lines were compared to the height he needed to clear. And of course, another thing you always gotta watch for when you get out there in boating, that's gonna be weather. That thing can change on a dime on you, so you're not always gonna get the best of days, but just always double and triple check and make sure when you're heading out, you've got the right boat for the right conditions for the day. Now, just because you decided to stay in because those poor weather conditions were coming, if it's severe weather like a hurricane, your boat still may not be safe even if you left it in dry harbor on the land. So always remember, if really severe weather is coming, maybe you need to leave and take your boat with you. Because nothing stinks more than Sunday coming around and Sunday fun days here and you want to get out there on your boat and Carolina squat with the boys and all of a sudden you realize you can't because your boat's just not up for the job. And speaking of not being up for the job, I'm just determined that some captains are not up for the job as well. And that's another thing you're going to want to avoid out there on the water is those captains who are out there doing Guggen things. Whatever you do, try and avoid them at all costs. Sometimes they'll be obvious to see. If you see somebody out there really struggling, you probably probably want to back your vessel up and give them plenty of room to work. And if you've got an opportunity, maybe to give them a helping hand, you can, but only do it if it's safe for you to do so. Thanks for watching, crew. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know, and you might see your stories over here. Just like Cam Kirk Connell, Canufwa, Carson Aggio One, Taylor Wacker, Paxton TT, Daisy May, Alec Brown, Peter Keir, Jay Hathaway, Adam Coolidge, and Owen Fenning did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.